Hello YouTube, Tranquil Warfare here, doing a uh, quick tank update, well I'm not sure if it's going to be quick or not, but uh, haven't done an update in a while, and definitely wanted to cover a few things, um, definitely some updates to speak about, uh, a couple new corals, a lot of growth on other corals, um, so we'll just kind of jump into it. Here on the left side, new additions. I went ahead and uh, trying out SPS or hardcore SPS again up top. Have some sort of um, acro, I believe, right here. It's doing well. If you see at the base, there is some bleaching. Um, I want to say that was there when I bought it. Had it for a couple of weeks now, so it's doing all right. Then here, I have a. Uh, sorry for the shaking. Have a. Um, Another SPS, this is a bird's nest, has awesome polyp extension. You can see all the greens coming out of the polyps, so that's that's doing really, really well. So far those are okay. Hopefully that big old turbo snail doesn't knock them over. Um, having a hard time with that bird's nest, keeping it still there. So probably have to come back here and fix it after that turbo snail knocks them over. But another cool update is this Monty is just blowing up in size. Screen Montifora, if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, you'll know that uh, this thing was a lot smaller when I first started off. Started off in October of 2012, so it's been about, what, uh, six months? Tank's doing pretty good. My um, green star polyps are very, very temperamental. As you can see, only some of them are out. It's either green star polyps or, or encrusting gregornia is what, it, what the, another name for it is. Um, so very, very temperamental. Very rarely is it fully extended anymore. Haven't really figured out what's going on. It's been this way for almost a couple of months now. The uh, Kenya trees are doing awesome. They're freaking spreading everywhere now. So I'll start selling some off to my local fish store. Cool thing about my tank is that they actually collect in a couple of areas. So they collect back here in this corner so you see some Kenya trees back there and they also collect over here on the right side of the tank in this area with the flow look how many of them are here it's crazy so yeah I'm gonna start taking them into the LFS and selling them maybe five bucks a piece or something my uh, other area of slight concern are my zoa garden here as you can see a lot of them are closed and actually this is actually a good site because these uh... these zoas were actually closed for almost a week so the fact that they're actually opening up now is, is a happy sight for me to see i was very worried um, on the uh, left side of the zoas there a lot of them have melted or disappeared i did find a uh, nudie branch in the tank got him out as soon as I saw him haven't seen any others don't know if it was a zoa eating nudie branch but uh, yeah those zoas are, they've been under attack so to speak so very happy to see them fully opened today my gold uh, gold hammer is doing very well the uh, chalice coral right there on the bottom that was a little frag actually when I first got it that my local fish store gave to me for free just glued it to the uh, frag plug of this gold torch or excuse me gold uh, gold hammer and that thing is starting to expand and uh, extend now so it's pretty cool Charles coral this uh, frog spawn here is a re relatively new addition some more of your typical type of frog spawn. I did have this frog spawn over here already in the tank for quite some time. So this thing is doing very, very, very well. Love it. I did move my torch to the bottom of the tank, as you can see here. I'm not getting the extension that I typically do. And one of the two heads has a um, feather duster in it. And I don't know if it's a feather duster or I've seen it described as a barnacle. Either way, it looks as though it's kind of taken over the middle 
of uh, one of the torch heads. And I've seen research saying that it's fine, leave it alone. I've also seen research saying you need to remove it and try to kill that uh, feather duster. Don't know. Look at this guy upside down. One of my emerald crabs over here. He's upside down. What's he doing? Uh, let's take a step back. This, um, this hammer right here had about 15, 20 heads on it and unfortunately when I was using my magnet cleaner over here there was a snail on the back of it that I didn't notice and when I was cleaning my glass I ended up breaking off about three heads. Um, they all stayed on one individual branch but there's three separate heads so all I did is just move it up here on this area of the rock. It's uh, They've been doing great. They've still been extending and normal activity so that's good. Another positive thing in the tank is look at this Orange Monty. This thing is doing freaking fantastic. If you look at a previous video this thing was pretty much dead. There was very little orange or red on it and uh, from that very little bit this is what I got. So this thing is looking amazing. This piece of Monty actually broke off from my uh, green one on the other side of the tank and I just placed it over here. I've been letting it grow so it's doing really well. There's another freaking Kenya tree right there next to it. So overall everything's doing pretty well. Oh, one other thing I did not mention uh, as you can tell I did change the aquascape a little bit. I used to have this area over here kind of enclosed, but I opened it up, moved the rocks from the front over to the back, and that's where that uh, that frog spawn is on. And actually, speaking of the back, I did, at my local fish store, get a good deal on these uh, leather toadstools. There's two of them back there. They have great polyp extension right now. You can definitely see. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is I've always wanted a leather toadstool. But I, bought, I wanted one with the green polyp extension, so like a beige base and green polyp extension to really have powerful color pops. But, you know, I couldn't pass up that deal. It was like $25, I think it was, for both of those together, so I just picked them up. I can always get another one. But, overall, as far as livestock is concerned, still have about the same amount of fish haven't lost anybody everybody's out front right now so that's pretty cool I did add quite a few more uh, cleanup crew so there's a lot more snails and crabs in there um, but yeah everybody's doing well my clownfish are doing well my hippo tang's doing well powder blue is doing well my powder blue and hippo tang were actually best friends for a very long time and as my hippo tang is getting bigger I think the powder blue is getting threatened and they've been fighting a little bit here and there but as you can see they, they're swimming together right now don't seem to have too many problems but uh, my single chromie is doing well as you know I had three of them but two of them killed each other my single uh, pajama cardinal is doing well again I had three of those but unfortunately my yellow tang when I first introduced those my yellow tang killed two of those so Overall, this tank is really starting to come together. I'm really liking the way it's looking and uh, working. I uh, don't have too much more I want to do with it. Right now, it's just about keeping water parameters where I need them to be, and hopefully everything will start thriving. If those zoas really start to pick up, that would make me very happy. If those uh, Encrusting Gregorian or Green Star Polyps start getting a little happier, that will really set this tank off because it's awesome when this has full extension and it just looks like grass waving in the current but that's about it I don't think I'm missing anything as far as uh, another update as far as the tanks concerned so things are doing well if you guys have any questions definitely uh, write them in the comment section otherwise hope you guys are doing well with your tanks Tranquil Warfare out